As you look at all of these delicious desserts that they have so kindly put right in front of me here today, you wouldn't know that these are actually low carb desserts. And we are now talking with Corey and Melanie Cedar, owners of Good Food Low Carb Cafe. Welcome guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Welcome to the show. I see you've got something cooking over there for us already, Melanie. Yep. What is it that you have there? Um, so we are just finishing up our wild cut um, king salmon filet here to go okay. on our pad thai salmon zoodle bowl. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna be talking about the pad thai zoodles and then also the uh, these keto. Now these are keto desserts that yes, we have right here. So I'm interested in trying those out for sure. So let's talk a little bit about the pad thai. What is uh, special about this, this particular pad thai compared to a pad thai that you might get in another restaurant? Well, if you're watching her now, the noodles that she's uh, working with are zucchini noodles. Yeah. So there's going to be a big difference nutritionally there. So, sure. Um, they, they cover the texture of the pad thai noodle, but uh, with a huge difference in starch content. So Absolutely. Uh, in low carb, you're trying to avoid as much of the hidden starches and sugars. So working with something like a zucchini noodle is a great base. Absolutely. And yeah, I got to tell you, you know, I've had zoodles at several other places too, and I've made them myself. I can't ever get them quite right, like the, the way that you can get them in a restaurant. So what is your secret? What do you do to... Well, I mean, you technically you can eat them raw if, if you're into the crunch. You okay, can cook sure. them down if you like okay. them soft. Um, we aim for it right in the middle, kind of al dente. Al dente, Just yeah. like a quick saute. This only takes a couple minutes, and then, you know, they've still got some integrity, just kind of like a noodle. Okay, that's good. So probably a lot quicker too than uh, cooking traditional noodles. Yeah, they get, they get, yeah. get done more quickly. Oh yeah, no boiling water. Yeah. Um, you know, you gotta spiral cut the zucchini or purchase it that way first. But well, then once it's in the pan, have it's your pretty kids quick. do that for you. Right. <laughs> and then no. um, I'm adding our peanut pad thai sauce, Ooh, which um, yeah. you know we make in house from peanuts without yeah. added sugar. Um, you know, rice wine vinegar, a gluten-free tamari sauce, um, chilies, garlic. So there's like no MSG, no sugar. Fantastic. No funny business. Fantastic. <laughs> What's not to love, right? So uh, let's, uh, while you're uh, flipping that, and I'm really impressed by that, by the way, let's talk a little bit about these desserts that are in front of me. What's different about these desserts compared to desserts from another bakery? A lot. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, they look like a lot regular and not desserts. A lot. They, they, to, to me, they. Taste is as good, if not better. Okay. We use different sweeteners, however. So, okay. you know, in place of sugar, we'll use things like uh, erythritol, or we, we prefer uh, Swerve, which is a nice brand for baking. Okay. Um, or stevia as a sweetener, okay. and in place of things like traditional wheat flour for chocolate chip cookies, we're using almond flour. Uh, for the cupcakes, we're using coconut flour. Oh, and coconut for, flour. Wow. Absolutely. It gives a nice light texture still and very low in the carbohydrate count. So yeah. you can enjoy a cupcake. Wow. And, um, I'm curious about that. I've never tried, I don't think I've ever tried anything with coconut flour. Um, I've, I've definitely tried, you know, almond flour and some of those other non-wheat flours, but I don't think I've ever tried coconut flour. So that should be interesting. There you go. Are we, how are we uh, coming here? Is that pretty we're, close? We're almost Getting there. there. Yep. Getting there? All almost right. there. I'm going to give it just another minute. I usually cook on gas. It's a little different, but it's a little bit different just today. a minute. Yeah. 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 We appreciate you, you know, enduring our primitive conditions over here. <laughs> so um, let's talk a little bit about like why you guys started this restaurant and how just eating low carb has affected your lives. So, I mean, I, I started eating low carb and very low carb out of necessity for my own health. Mm -hmm. um, seven years ago, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes mm. and I needed to figure out how to manage my blood sugar. Sure. Um, and I wanted to manage blood sugar in a normal range and I found that the most successful way to do that is by keeping the amount of carbohydrate minimal. Sure. So I eat a very protein focused diet. Uh, that said, there's still times where you want to enjoy some of the traditional treats that you see out in the world. So yeah. rather than always just eating a steak with broccoli, yeah, uh, the world has expanded, and I, you know, made a good life choice and married a chef. There you go. All right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the world yeah, is I, wide open. <clears throat> yeah. When I um, met Corey, I had already been running the Good Food food carts for about five years. Okay. Um, and the menu was a little different and we did have added sugar still in the menu and we did have some, you know, like um, fruit concentrates and, sure. you know, our balsamic vinaigrette, we would um, make that with honey and so forth. So we have just, um, you know, since I met him and he kind of like 
taught me how to eat, I like to say. And started experimenting there um, and doing home yeah. A1C tests. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had pre-diabetes and I didn't even realize it. Wow. Um, so wow. I have I'd taken my A1C down like, what, a full point yeah, or more? Yeah, That's point incredible. Um, I mean, I don't really even know what that means, but that sounds really good. Yeah, yeah so. I mean, my measure of average blood sugar for the preceding three months has gone from a pre-diabetic high level to a really nice, wow. low, normal spot. Wow. Um, and you're never looking back, it sounds like. I mean, how, why no, would you I mean, when the, you've got food like that? The food is delicious. You can still eat dessert. It's just, you know, you get a little creative with the different ingredients. Sure. And that's That is it. just, that's beautiful right there. So um, let's talk a little bit about um, uh, specials and promotions and things that you have going on at your restaurant. How can people stay in the loop about any events or promotions and things like that? Yeah, so we, um, we don't update our Facebook page quite as like as often as we would like to. Yeah. <laughs> Just the with Facebook the department the has is often cooking the, the special the at the right. time where she's trying but, uh, to post the special. Too. We try to we try to update the Facebook page at least a few times a week with okay. um, where we're at, what's going on, what kind of like our new desserts are and stuff sure. like that. People get really excited about that stuff. So sure, sure. We try to stay in touch that way. Fantastic. Um, and I'm just finishing up this pad thai zoodle bowl with um, some fresh herbs, basil, cilantro here, um, bean sprouts, um, a little red pepper, got that nice salmon filet on there. That is just peanuts. Uh, that's amazing. <clears throat> so that's that. That's done. And I'm a big fan of pad thai. I'm also a big fan of the desserts here. So before we head to break, I want to try one of these desserts. Uh, which one would you recommend? <laughs> Um, right now, I think everybody's favorite is the Samoa bar. Okay, okay. If you do like coconut. Um, okay. So that's got a nice creamy coconut layer on Samoa top. Samoa bar. All right, I'm going to try this. It's kind of like the Samoa um, Girl Scout cookie, so we're trying to do a, a riff on that. Um, just I mean, keeping the sugar and the grains out of it. And there's no shame if you eat the whole thing. Yeah, it doesn't... I mean, I can't tell that there's no sugar in it. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. This is really good. Thank Bravo, you. you two. Thank, Thank you for you so coming much. in and sharing this. Head on over to Good Food Low Carb Cafe. They're over on Cottage Grove Road here in Madison, where Wisconsin restaurants, so we'll be right back after this break.